Kind of as we expected, uh, a lot of attention on geopolitics, uh, energy security, uh, inability to uh, to meet demand at a variety of levels, kind of seeing that play out in different parts of the world, and a little concern about it here in the United States as well. I thought the big takeaway was just the importance of energy, uh, all forms of energy, whether it's crude oil, natural gas, renewables, and of course the continuing importance that the U.S. plays in it, given that the U.S. is the largest producer of oil, the largest producer of natural gas, um, and then of course how we progress through the energy transition, how it's important for all stakeholders to kind of think about how we move along and decarbonize. So the energy transition, it's, it's a very complex transition. Uh, where we are currently, um, I think that there's still a long ways to go, um, but both companies, governments, and consumers are thinking of different ways to kind of solve this complex problem. I think everyone's talking about net zero by 2050. Of course, it's gonna really, pretty much everyone will need to be involved for this to happen. I think that's right. I was encouraged that, you know, all sides of the energy spectrum were really interested in figuring out solutions to move forward. We've hit a bit of a pause here, I think, with some of the events of the past year. And so I think a lot more attention on how to get where the transition needs to be.